Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Masha. This is my channel, All in One with Masha. And if you are, if you are a returning subscriber and viewer, thank you for the loyalty, manze. Thank you for nindi mnafanya na naendelea ku produce videos. So today uh, it's another episode. If you see me behind this white curtain on a maroon throne, it is relationship chronicles. I did the intro video and now this is the first video that I'm doing. I was supposed to do this video on that same day I did the intro, but I just changed my mind. I needed to collect more information. So today I'm here, with, I'm back again with Relationship Chronicles. And today it's about, I, I, as I already said in the previous video, I am going to talk about exes. We all have exes. If, you'd, if you have been in a relationship before and it ended, that is an ex. So, me me tune you, I seen an ex. Come over, come on, and I've killed any ex. No, you're not my ex. I don't have an ex. <laughs> but everyone has an ex. Everyone has been in some kind of relationship and it broke broke away or broke off. I don't know. Mm? Broke away. Hey, y'all, come look at this. Broke, broke away or broke off. <laughs> and they have a story to tell. There's a reason why they broke up. So kuna nini hiyo ilifanya? Sisi hata kuna sibling wako kuna kitu alikufanyia nyenye ujawai sahau. Either ni poa ama ni mzuri. So today I'm, I'm talking about ni nini ex wako alikufanyia that you can never forget. Yenye inafanya, yenye una feel ni kama uwezi msamehe. Of course they say forgive and forget. You can forgive but ku forget nayo. <laughs> could forget like you're not getting something out of your memories so hard you see but you can forgive yeah um, forgive um, talk, or hati yako, or maybe you went back to talking and sometimes forgiving doesn't always need reconnection by the way come on i feel like aliku hurt you don't want to go through anything again you don't always have to reconnect you can just forgive him or hana ishi apo you see so as i was saying in the intro video i posted on my whatsapp uh, it is an open forum. What is that one thing that your ex did to you that you can never forget? story. Don't say, don't try and. Why? Do it this way, Do it this way. So, uh, I got responses. And I asked these people, is it okay if I use your answers in my video? I'll not, I'll not say your name unless you're comfortable. And some are like, ah, oh, you can never say my name. But I don't want to say that their names. I just want to say the, their responses. Then, when you engage in a relationship, you can say what you can say. You can say in the comment section. Kama kenya uyu alifanyiwa, is it worse than what was done to you? So I'll just be doing short, short videos of these episodes to make sure that kila mtu ana get a chance to watch. So I have here three. I have let me today. I'm talking about four answers that what wali ni pia. Pia mimi ntai wambia kenye kusonga wali ni fanya kenye siyesi sahau. Amata ntai wambia mshwa i video. Like ni kwa sasa wacha tuanza na izi zenye tumesha pia. So the first, the first. I so the first one I am told here so this one uh mili positive I can do me emoji akili and then I was like hey alikufanya aje who hurt you who broke you then it's, she was like hey nikikuwa and it's taking kukumbuka jo nikikumbuka nitalia nika mwambia kunywa maji sanitize Relax, okay? <laughs> Is it bit as you happen? So she, th then she told me this one was a, sh or was a she. 
nilikaa na nili, nilikaa nikifikiria niko na boyfriend i went to his house nilikaa nikifikiria niko na boyfriend i went to his house nikapatana na nguo za dem kumuliza akasema ni za ex wake aliacha anafaa kukamia so we had planned to live together for three months so mimi nikakaa kwake for three months being a good a good wife that i am nafua napika napanguza i do everything that i am supposed to do as a wife lakini siku moja nikapigiwa simu nikaambiwa niko kwa wenyewe na mwenye mwenye nyumba anakuja the next day msikie your story wa dad umeka kwa nyumba okay umekutana na chali yako because she's a girl chali amemwambia ana anakuja yes anaona vitu ziko chali ya hide vitu anamuliza hizi vitu ni za nani then the chali is like hizi vitu ni za ex wangu tuliachana but hajawahi kujia so it's like oh fine so see the guys are ntawa atakujia or utampelekea then umeka three months kwa hiyo hao then siku moja unapigia simu na mwenye nyo anakuambia yeye ndio mwenye nyumba na anakuja na anataka asikupate hapo amesikia huko na asikupate hapo then unashangaa wewe umekuwa nani <laughs> ndio utajua hii ni Nairobi kila mtu uko na umekaa kumbe na chali ya wenyewe na wewe unafikiria ni chali yako these are grown ups by the way ni watu wako karibu watu wenye wako age of marriage people who are even older than me you see so inakuwa mbaya kumbe huyu chali alikuwa na date kama student na huyu dem alikuwa ameenda long holiday ushago sasa anafaa kurudi chali kama dem yako ameenda long holiday si useme ameenda long holiday kama ni mechi unaomba si umbe tu mechi mbona sasa unadanganya mtu imagine someone stays with you for three months amejua we ni we ni husband to be anaanza ku build something hmm? ndio anasemanga ti doesn't matter the years even the hours are enough <laughs> Awa, so utashtuka wewe Uta, utashtuka utashtuliwa so imagine so alafu anauliza so asa alafu nini ka happen then she was like sasa mimi nikauliza huyu chali kama anajua udem and then the chali is like eh ati sasa mbona basi umekokika na mimi ati sasa si juni ningekwambia ukweli unge ungekaa na mimi na mbona na nilimkuna niacha nikae na <laughs> then the chali is like ya yeah, odem alikuwa ameenda tulikuwa na issues so i didn't know that we were going to work out the issues but sasa hizi tume work out issues surely okay hapo acha mimi sijui hebu nyinyi mniambie ni kwa comment section utasamea huyo mtu is it fair hivyo ndo kulienda kwa huyo mtu wa kwanza but it's so sad very sad in fact extremely sad kama demi yako ameenda long holiday sema ameenda long holiday eh nisikuje na bug unashika <laughs> usije demu wenyewe akuje na bug and set yako na kuja pia pale ma job eh na pia dem before wamie kwa mtu chunguza na hizo stories za hizi ngoni za ex atakujia ah mimi don't take that ex akujia hizo nguo kama niko i don't know kila mtu ana life yake so that is about the the first text wadao nyinyi mniambieni ingekuwa ni nyinyi in that lady's shoe ama ta chali uh, ama ta dem chali dem yako akufanyie hivyo utamsamehea you tell me to discuss hmm. so the next person mwenye ali respond aliniambia hivi i thought i <laughs> alianza mkuu hey mimi ni muumizi wa roho yangu ni uji. <laughs> Nikaumuliza ni mimi mbaya. This one is a gentleman. Akaniambia I thought I was dating a girl. Kumbe nilikuwa na jidate. She used to come over to my place. I used to buy her gifts. Tulikuwa tunaenda out. Anything normal that couples do. Then siku moja tu kaenda at a friend's party. Aka misbehave. Kumuliza jo alinibo nikakuja nika juu nikamuliza mbele ya wase mbona ana behave hivyo guess in your dem aliniambia abu guess in your dem yake alimwambia wase hii ni mbaya 
<laughs> Akaniuliza aka na mpimia aje life ni kama tuna date. Umesikia hiyo story? Umejua demi demi yako? You guys have been going out. Like you you're just a normal couple and unaona. So siku moja unachukua demi yako unaenda na yeye basha best yako then ah, kuna venye tu labda na kwanga umeambia mboki the different alafu dem anakuja anachoma so wewe juu unataka kujiassert as a man eh vile wa Kenya men wanapenda kusema as a man <laughs> unaona ukuje juu kwa mtoto wa wenyewe mbele ya watu na dem anamuuliza unanipimia aje life ni kama tuna date butua <laughs> Alidhani ameangukia kumbe ameangukiwa. Imagine. So I was asking this this gentleman, mko me date na ude muda gani? Anaambia 6 months. Na ulikuwa umemwambia mna date. Akasema ti tulikuwa sasa ananiambia ti eh mkuu, kwani mkikuwa mnaenda na mse out anakujanga kwa hapo ana sleep over like kila mtu anajua wewe mabese yako, mamboki yako yote inajua uni demi yako si lazima useme then I was like that is why the mistake comes in sometimes wewe well, uko hapo unajiambia <laughs> uni demi yako na kumbe uni demi ya chali yake ako na chali yake <laughs> but again it is so wrong and like my demi wana kama utaki mtu don't give him hopes don't promise him it's either you're there or you're not there na mtu akikuwa pia too good oh uh, unamuuliza rada ni gani at least I clarify before things get out of hand mpate mnaletana juu ama hata it gets to us sometimes unaona watu wana, wanaanza kushikiana visu wanashikana matai so that is what happened to that to that nigga i think was all them zilikuwa wake anasema alichukua akaenda kuziweka kwa dustbin <laughs> zimngojea huko akitoka hiyo sherehe achukulie huko akienda so tell me if you are this gentleman utasamea we dem Juu umeaibisha mbele ya mbogi, amekuuliza mbele ya mbogi, unampimia je life ni kama mna date? Kama ni wewe utasamea. Mimi kama ni mimi hiyo naweza samea acha kinifanyia hivyo. Juu eh hey, kai mbaya sana. But he, ile ile ya huyo wa kwanza bado mimi zi. Alafu mina, pia hii ya, ya pili sipo wa yenyewe dem kama kupea mwanzako hope si hivyo alafu unakuja una disappoint. So if you're not for it just be not for it. Asa hii ya tatu, hii ndio nitasema na sasa peana comment na nitakat na twende tulale. So guys, huyu wa tatu akaniambia hivi. Huyu wenyewe mimi hata mimi namfeel bado. Na sijui mbona na smile. Naja na kwenda kwa studio. Ah, uh, so this girl says, I had my friend come over nikiwa nimedeliver anisaidie kazi. She's the one who offered in fact you alikuwa tu she go doing nothing after kumaliza shule. Mimi huyo nikadandia offer mbio mbio niondoke story ya kulipa mboji. Kumbe nilijiletea co wife. Nenda. Ah kumbe nilijiletea co wife. Nilitoka job nikapata bwanangu with my friend red handed. As if it's not enough bwanangu anaanza kunitoa nje na asira ni kama mimi ndio nimekosa. Nikachukua mtoto wangu nikaenda kwa sis yangu kuondokea tu drama. The next thing niliitwa kwa kina bwanangu. Nikaenda nikafikiria nikifikiri, tunaenda ku issues. Kumbe alikuwa amenipeleka mbele ya wazee, anaenda kunidivorce mbele ya wazee. Ananiambia nitaki tena amepata bibi mpya. Hata ikiwa wewe utawai msamehea. Guys, you see story. Wadau, wadau. Imagine kama ni wewe utamsamia. Will you forgive that man? Hapo ndio mtu usema alichukua kisu akadunga hiyo baba kisu ya matako. Jonya is it fair? <laughs> Mbona ufanyie hivyo mtu? Unajua it's, it's not it's not right. Si ndio? Mimi tell me your opinion in the comments. But si poa ki. Imagine ume, umeleta beste yako. Umeona badala yake ushago. Umlete tao Yeye yeah, mwenyewe in fact ameofa. Si eti umemuomba, ume ameofa. Amejileta. Wewe umekubali. Si yangelipa media 6k. Beste yake kumbe yeye amekuja kulinda bwana, hajakuja kulinda mtoto. Services are being offered. 
to the wrong person at the right time. At the wrong time, at the wrong place. So, unaenda, unapata buwanako red handed. And you enjoy our sons of Pharaoh. Ananza kumtua inje. Anamharas. Ni kama, amekosa kuwa pata. Yani, unaeni haras ati jume wa pata. People joke. Mi ata mimi, ye siku ni utanijua. How? How surely? Ana mtoa inje. So, hui udema anachukua tu mtoi kuondokea drama. Anachukua mtoi wake. Anaenda. Sunaja ile unaenda kwa sizi yako, unajiambia ata ni kujia. You wait. The son of Pharaoh doesn't come. So, the next time unajua, unapigua simu na watu wa home. Na, I think alipigua na mother in-law wake or brother in-law. Sijina ni alipigua. Ni ambeto alipigua simu na aende home kwa kina buwana wake. Kuenda wa home kwa kina buwana wake, anapata wa mekalisha waze. Ya kajua wanta kutengeneza mambo, amejianda na points zake za kusema. Kupe buwana wake lisha fika, kasema ya mtaki tena na mdivorce, amepata bibi mungine. Wadao wate kiwa wewe, utawai msamehea. Imagine. Alafu mtoto kitumbaya, anafanana na baba yake photocopy. Yani ukiangalia unakumbuka. Is it fair? Abadhali kikuwa napanana na mama hake, usahawi yu story. Now the baby is the duplicate of the father, manzi. Sasa hu mdiro ata kilala. Unona mbona mama mwingine wana kwanga bita. Sasa hakiangalia mtoto wanaona ile sura. Nika muliza na uyu beste yako, ako hapi sayo. Atasema beste yake yako. Ako kwa hiyo nyuma tina wakipigia buwana hake, simu kwa muambia oo mtoto wana need this. Sana ni anashika na mwambi wacha kupigia buwanangu, simu buwanangu analala. Kwa ni ya kuna wakora, simi na kukia wakora. But, choose peace. Hata hapa wakuna kitu tafanya, hiyo siyo vita hako. Hata minaungia tu saa hiyo kukia wakora, lakini tatua wapi wakora. Hiyo siyo vita hangu. Ikisha fika hapo, it's no longer your fight. You let God fight for you. So, hiyo demu alimuwa, at least hapo fanya kitu irrational. Alikuwa stable. Anafanya job yake, analinda mtui wake. Yeah, so I'll decide, I'll accept na kumove on. But sao nona atakuwa na relationship issues, like atakuwa na trust issues. Juu, uyu mtu mmoja aliwai, aliwai fanya haka lose trust. Si poa, si poa, sister kwa kifanyua hivyo. But all in all, that is what I have for today. Izo, izo tatu. Think about it, tell me in the comment section. Then again, I'll prepare another episode for you. This is going to be fire. Every Sunday, I'll be dropping an episode of Relationship Chronicles. Ndiyo tumeanza. Niambia pia weko comment. Ex wako alikufanya nini? Enyewezi sahau. Enyewezi msamehea. Ata kama uli msamehea. Enyewezi sahau. Minu muambia misi na ex. Kama umekapu na fikiria weni ex wangu. You're wasting your time. Minu ex wako. I don't know you. Do I know you? Well, so bye guys, remember to subscribe, like this video, share the link with your friends.